Hey, this is Charlie Davis at Anza Knives, owner of Anza Knives, knife maker. I want to talk about a little sheath safety. Okay? Because our knives are very, very sharp, sharper than most knives. Just to show you, here's the the pre-edge to my knife. You can see how wide it is. Very wide edge, right down to nothing. And then we polish it up and it's razor sharp. Okay? Being that they're so sharp, when you put your knife in the sheath, put it in very carefully and just inch it down in when it's brand new until the leather forms to it, okay? Don't do that, because you're liable to pop through the bottom, all right? Uh, make sure it's not going in crookedy, because a lot of times people have cut right through here, and we don't want you to get hurt, okay? So just put it in, inch it in, you're done, okay? Now just to demonstrate how sharp it is, here's one of my sheaths. Okay, I just touch it and it's going in. Okay, so be very, very careful. Now, your sheath will eventually stretch up in this area and the knife will get loose, okay? Old timers say they just wrap rubber bands around the front of the handle, shove it in, doesn't come out, all right? Another trick is to put some contact cement right inside the lip, let it dry. Do it about three times, let it dry. Let it dry overnight with the knife, not in the sheath. And then in the morning, you put the knife in, and the rubber cement grabs the knife. We do add little nails along the curve here to help protect. Plus, I pour glue inside that covers the whole inside down along the edge here. And it really, really makes a difference, okay? The other, the other thing is when you pull your knife out of the sheath, don't have your finger up here. It, it really hurts when you do that, okay? Uh, I did it once, and knife maker cuts himself, okay? So don't do that, because when the knife comes out, it's going to cut. Okay, that's it. See you later. <laughs>